All right, Karen. All right, well, if you were with us yesterday here at 6, the name Daryl Harris may ring a bell. He was on Wanted for suspicion of sexually abusing an 11-year-old Detroit girl, but was still walking free due to an investigator who failed to finish paperwork in the case. Well, tonight, we can report Daryl Harris is off the streets and facing charges. Sean Lay live now with an update to the story he brought us 24 hours ago. And, Sean, it didn't take long for someone to give police that tip that they desperately needed. Karen, it's absolutely wild how this all worked out. Just yesterday at this time, we were on the air talking about the case of uh, Daryl Harris. Two men at the same time here in Detroit were discussing the case. They were aware of it. One of the men knew exactly where Harris was hiding. He saw our report essentially led police right to him. Daryl Harris in court and charged with two counts of sex crimes against a child. The victim, just 11 years old, Erica Underwood, is the victim's mother, and she's been fighting to protect her daughter since she uncovered this case last December 1st. Who knows if he has struck again? Underwood handed Detroit police evidence that Harris was allegedly abusing her daughter 68 days ago. But the Detroit police sex crimes investigator on her case went on vacation instead of finishing her report. A move, DPD tells me, quote, should not have happened. Finally, Wayne County prosecutors got involved and finally charged Harris. That's where community activist and barber shop owner Oliver Gant comes in. At 6 last night, his friend was talking about seeing Harris all over the east side. Our report about Harris was on Local 4 News in his barber shop. When I looked up at the news 10 minutes later, I saw you uh, having an uh, interview with the uh, mother. And uh, I was surprised, and I told my client, I said, this is the case that we were just talking about. Within minutes, the victim's mother was given the address where Daryl Harris was hiding out here on the east side. By 9 o'clock, he was taken into custody. Erica Underwood Overjoyed, Sean. got her daughter out of bed to tell her. Um, I told her um, last night, uh, she started jumping and clapping. Back here live, Erica Underwood says now her daughter can start her healing process. The investigator with Detroit Police who went on vacation, she's under review now within the department, could face disciplinary action right here at the jail behind me. That's where Daryl Harris is on a $150,000 cash bond. We're live tonight, Sean Lane, Local 4.